This week, my son Drew and I are heading down to Missouri to IMB Outfitters for Drew's first out-of-state hunt. I can't wait. Let's get out of here. Blue, you sure? what do you have to say? My young man, my young child who is towering over me. Yeah. Let's, hear it. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. We're going to go roll in the tying machine yep. and hopefully make it down there. Got to go buy some clothes and we'll be ready to roll. Because somebody forgot their clothes. Let's do it. All right, Mama. Bye. Good luck, Blue. Good luck, guys. Good luck, guys. See you guys. Yeah. Thank you. On the way down, it seems like we always forget something. And this time it was my dad forgetting his clothes. He didn't have anything, only his hunting clothes. So we had to stop at like a Walmart to get some clothes. I do have all my hunting stuff, but you know, a guy does need to have socks and underwear as well. On the road, I mean. Oh, we're hoping to get there just in time to uh, take a scent-free shower and go get in the tree. That's the plan. The time machine has a way of... Ended up driving through the night, got into IMB really early the next morning, got a bite to eat, we're heading out to the tree. In the tree here in Missouri, and we're going to sit all day and hopefully have something come by us. Drew and Junior are about, I don't know, eight, nine hundred yards away from us, I'm getting, I'm guessing. Um, they're sitting in a box blind over some food, I think. And I'll sit back and see what we can see. Missouri. Uh, we're in a box blind right now on a field on both sides of us. Uh, we haven't seen much right now, but we're hoping that luck will change and we'll get one on the ground. Let's wish us luck. The first day was real long. We didn't see really anything. We sat all day and really only saw a couple deer.
we just had two fawns come out about 300 yards down. Uh, it's good to see that they're moving now. The wind's died down, so that's better. Hopefully it gets the deer moving. The big one comes out. First day in Missouri, not really a good day. We sat there all day long and really never saw any mature deer at all. I'm a bow hunter, plain and simple, and I demand perfection from my bow. I don't care what brand is most popular, and I certainly don't care what's trending right now. I want fast, I want quiet. I want accurate, but still forgiving, because sometimes my form isn't the best. And yes, I want American made. The T24 from Gearhead Archery gives me all of that. On the second morning of our Missouri hunt, um, it was raining pretty hard this morning. We got in here a little before it started pouring. Um, nothing really moving yet. We're, we're in a muddy field right now. I'm just trying to see, catch them going back to their bedding area. Um, we're hoping that we can catch something coming through. set up on a tree this morning just for the fact that it was pouring rain and rain and video equipment doesn't really mix. This morning we decided to move because we really weren't seeing that much action. We headed to a different farm closer where my dad was hunting because they were seeing some more deer. I need a gun. Oh yeah, you probably want that. No cap on Thank 
limbs off this tree and put up a blind here and I really like where we're sitting. We're sitting over two cut corn fields here. We got another one way out in front of us. I mean there's cut corn all around us. I feel really good about tonight. Making the decision to move was the right one because we ended up seeing some dough come by. bucks today but we decided to head back and get at tomorrow. Well, it's the third day of our Missouri hunt. Uh, we're set up in a stand today rather than a blind. Um, we're in the middle of uh, some woods right now and of a different farm that we haven't hit, um, sat before. Um, right this morning we've seen a couple does so uh, it's good that we're seeing activity now. Hi, Tom Lochner, third generation family owner of Wilderness Fish and Game in Sauk City. Hunt, fish, shoot, that's all we do. Our employees are fishing guides, archery pros, gunsmiths, and competitive shooters. So swing by and let us set you up for success in the great outdoors. So after sitting all morning long, I got a hold of the guide and said, hey, we need to come up with a different plan because this just isn't working. My dad was making a move, so we decided to move as well. It was starting to get later in the evening and Junior taps me on the shoulder. 
He said that there's some bucks coming, but they ended up being too small. Well, that's a wrap on day three. Um, ended up moving this afternoon to uh, this new spot here. And it's windy as can be. Hopefully you can hear this. We saw a lot of deer tonight. Um, three or four different bucks. Nothing even in the 120s, I don't think. Just smaller stuff. It's been, been a struggle these last three days. Uh, just this wind. We had rain yesterday. And of day three, tomorrow's do or die. We gotta get her done. It is the morning of day number four, our last day here. As you can tell, it's raining again. So on the last day, it's even hotter than it has been, and we know the big deer aren't gonna be up and moving around. So we decided to get out and just start poking around and hopefully get some of these big deer up on their feet. I thought I heard something coming to my right and I looked over and a little buck came from about 20 yards away. Even though I didn't get a buck, it was still a great experience hunting out of Wisconsin. I loved it. Unfortunately, we're not going home with the buck in the back of the truck, but the memories that I created with my son this week will far outlast any deer that we could get. I'm a bow hunter plain and simple, and I demand perfection from my bow. I don't care what brand is most popular, and I certainly don't care what's trending right now. I want fast, I want quiet. I want accurate, but still forgiving, because sometimes my form isn't the best. And yes, I want American made. The T24 from Gearhead Archery gives me all of that.
a storm front coming in, and I've got a late season muzzleloader tag for Iowa, but we've got a day before we need to be there. We're heading to Missouri. We got a cut cornfield on the back side of us, and it's just, I would say, about a two and a half, three acre field, and it's been getting hit pretty hard. It's the only standing beans anywhere. We've got about three hours left to light. It's the very last night of the hunting season here in Missouri. I hate eating tags, so hopefully we can get it done tonight. I've got a really good feeling about this spot tonight. I just, I love hunting order food, so. We've got about five to ten minutes before the season's over. We start looking around. Off in the distance, we pick up two deer. Not really sure what they are. It doesn't look like they're going to make it to us anyway. So so far away. Well, they start running towards us, and the closer they get, we can tell they're bucks. And one of them looks like a shooter. We've got a shooter coming right to us. Last five minutes of the season. Crosses the fence right underneath us. I make sure Junior's on him. I know we don't have the best footage, but we're gonna get it done. We are back in the truck, got down, took the tree stand out, took everything out. It's literally the last day we're heading to Iowa here as soon as we do the recovery. I feel, I feel really confident in the shot. I'm pretty sure I saw a mule kick and I thought I heard a crash. Freaking, I'm pumped. I'm waiting on the guy like, come on, let's go. We gotta go find this thing. So we're chilling out right now, getting our breath back. We're gonna go find this deer in two and two. All right, well. We just talked to the guy, he's half hour away. He had to take the other guy back, so he said, go, go look for him, go get after him. So we're gonna head down here. We got several ditches we gotta cross, and uh, he's gonna have to load up the, the bad boy buggy or whatever buggy they have to get come up and around, evidently, because we got cricks and ditches and everything to cross. So let's go get him.
buddy. Well, here he is, guys. He actually made it a little further than I thought. I mean, I, I double lunged him, just made a perfect shot on him. And he probably went 120 yards or so. Just a beautiful eight point buck. Couldn't be happier. Ended up giving me like a 35, 40 yard shot. Just couldn't, couldn't ask for anything better. I'm telling you, what a, what a great way to close out the Missouri muzzleloader season. 2015 muzzleloader, Missouri. Couldn't be happier. Make sure you guys tune in next week. I'm meeting Jay in Iowa, and we're hoping to get a late season double. Hi, Tom Lochner, third generation family owner of Wilderness Fish and Game in Sauk City. Hunt, fish, shoot, that's all we do. Our employees are fishing guides, archery pros, gunsmiths, and competitive shooters, so swing by and let us set you up for success in the great outdoors.